Hi friends, this is Stephanie with Stephanie's Yarn Escape. Thank you for joining me today. It is Sunday, November 29th, 2020. Um, this is episode number 19. Um, this is a crochet podcast where I take you on my yarny adventure. Um, share with you all the things that I have done this previous week, yarn related, and hopefully you find some inspiration from it. So grab your favorite beverage, put your speed up because you absolutely deserve it, and enjoy what I have to share with you. We're just going to get off right into it. Um, I have a lot of things to show you guys today. Um, so we're going to start off with um, whips. So the first one you've guys seen numerous times, it's almost done, so close to being done, is this blanket. Turn it around, it's upside down. This one here. The stitch marker is where I showed you guys last. So I've made quite a bit of progress on it. I have one section of white to do, and then um, it's off to the border. Um, this is the Summertime Stripes Baby Blanket. Um, the pattern can be found on Daisy Farm Crafts. Um, I'm using, of course, Karen Simply Soft, which is one of my favorites. The colors I am using is white, persimmon, sunshine, and light country blue. So yes, um, that's a, a request for um, a coworker of mine. Um, she didn't want a whole set, she just basically wanted a blanket. So hopefully um, it should be done this week. Like I said, I'm almost done with it. And then I can get that off to her. Um, then I have two more baby sets I got to complete in the month of December. So I will be starting those next. Um, I'll show you the colors that I'm using for the next one. I am getting ready to start this week. I am using impeccable yarn in deep forest. I assume, yep, white and pale gray. So these three colors um, are going to make the next baby set that I'm going to do. I'm going to do the same thing like I did the others um, in the uh, blanket, sweater, um, drew a blank. blanket, sweater, booties, lovey, and hat. So that's the next one on my hooks. And then after I finish the uh, other blanket that I just showed you guys, I will be doing another baby set. Um, with some different things in it, but more to come on that. I do have some finished objects this week. Um, the one I don't have to show you guys because um, the lady had messaged me last week asking if it was complete. Um, I said I had left was the sweater. Um, I mentioned it in my last video and I went ahead and finished it and on Thursday uh, she was leaving town on Friday. Uh, so my goal was to have it done and I have finished it Wednesday night. Thursday I said it's available. Um, if you wanted to take it and she said, yes, I'll be over. And I didn't have, I always put, uh, stuff like that in a uh, nice box for the person that's taking it. And I went to get a box and I went to get out the blanket to put it at the bottom and not all my ends were weaved in. I was like, oh my goodness. And she doesn't live far away. And she said she was on her way. And I was like, oh no. So I'm hurrying up and weaving in ends real quick. I was going to take a picture of everything so I could share it with you guys. Um, I just finished the last end, shoved everything in the box, and she was here. Didn't get any pictures, but I do have the baby set, uh, the sweater done. It was in the blue, the orange, and the gray, and the white that I showed you guys last week. Oh. I'm so mad. I always try and take pictures of all my finished things um, because I like to keep them in a um, picture book for when I'm old and lose my memory or when I'm gone and my daughter can see all the things I made. And I put a description of what I used, why I made it, like what I did with it once it was done. <sighs> and I didn't get any of that. So that was one finished object was the baby sweater. Nothing to show for it. 
It's okay. It's okay. So I did finish something else. I finished the plaid hat. You guys have been seeing this for quite some time now, these plaid hat adventures that I'm on. I showed you guys this as a whip last week. And I have a black pom-pom on it. This is the child size version of the buffalo plaid hats um, that can be found on Ravelry. She does have a YouTube tutorial as well. Um, I finished a baby toddler and this black one here is the child size. And I will be starting the lady size and I will also be doing a men's size. Um, so that's one finished item. The yarn I use for that is Karen Simply Soft in, let's see, Harvest Red, Autumn Red, and Black. So those three colors. I think the next one I'm going to, going to do a white brim because um, I did that for the baby size and I just, I think I'm just going to rotate through it. I don't know, something like that. Um, so I will hopefully be starting that sometime this week. And then I have more finished items. So um, I don't know if you guys are part or are aware of the current mystery progressive crochet along that I'm co-hosting with Crochet Creations by Christy. I'll give more details up about that. But if you're doing the pattern, um, you would have the main part done, um, maybe week four done as well too. And you'll notice the stitches um, that are in the project. So I had some left over from my one skein and I decided to make some ear warmers. And I did just that in all sizes. So here is the ladies one. And I just let the colors go and they turned out so pretty. Up there yeah so that's the ladies one and then this one is a child size one that's that one this one is a toddler size I don't want to show this to you guys upside down this is a toddler size and we got the Little baby size. Uh, my tags are on it. <laughs> Sorry. I'm trying. I... <sighs> That's the baby size. So I've always done um, tags to put on the item that I finish. What yarn I use, care instruction sizes, all that things. And I've been lazy about it lately because I'm like, oh, I'll do it later. I'll do it later. I'll do it after my, I record for my podcast and Lo and behold, I haven't done it for quite some time. So yesterday I went through and went ahead and tagged everything. Um, so it was done. So I you'll see tags on these things and that's okay. So I got four, four ear warmers out of that and they're coordinating. They have the gray and the, the white in there. It's so pretty. So yes, that is, I, those took no time at all. Um, and I just revised the pattern for the Grandma's Forever Hug for the Mystery Progressive Crochet Along. Revised it into an ear warmer. There's more. So, I made some more. I, if you guys watched my episode from last week, I shared some puzzle yarn that I got. Was that last week? If it wasn't last week, it was the week before. But I got the Premier Puzzle Yarn in the colorway crossword. It's got the browns and the tans. This is all I have left of the one skein. And I decided to make ear warmers out of that as well. I made four. Um, the Puzzle Yarn, I noticed, didn't have as much stretch as the um, Barcelona Yarn. So I had to adjust my stitch count a little bit. So I made four of those. This is a child size version. Um, it, 
it's a, a child size version, but like it's got a little bit of stretch. And this is a child size version as well, too. So it's a little bit smaller. Whoops. So it's a little bit smaller, but what am I trying to say? It's a little, so if you were to, if you have a child that has lots of hair, like my child, um, this one wouldn't be as snug. Um, it just fit just right on the head. Whereas this child size one as well is more snugger, um, more, more snug. Yeah, more snugger to your head. So I was just playing around with, with the stitch count and stuff, but the color work, the colors just showed up so pretty and I just let them flow. Where's that one? And here's this one. Just kind of let this flow. And I made two adult size. This is a more snugger adult size. This one here. The colors just worked up so pretty. And this one, like the, this was a bigger size ear warmer for an adult. I'm going to like call it an adult large, but, um, it fits my head, but it, it's not snug. Whereas this one is more snugger. Make sense. I think so. So I made four of those. I didn't make a baby size yet, but I do plan on making a baby size and I, I will definitely have enough out of, the rest of this yarn. Um, also, I made some stitch markers. So last night I was running low on my stitch markers that I'm adding to the skeins for the progressive mis uh, progressive mystery crochet along. So last night I went ahead, well, my husband helped me too, um, made some stitch markers. I got, um, I can't remember the name of the company. I'll be sure to list it below. Um, there's a place that I bought these on Etsy. Um, they're a little bit smaller than the other ones that I had made. Here's another one I made before. And then here's, so the balls are a little bit smaller. It's actually working out a lot better. Um, but I did make this, this purple one last night and then I made some ones with some teal, white, and gray. It was like an ombre pack that you could buy from this, um, Etsy shop. And so I bought two ombre packs, this, this teal and gray one. And this one with like this blush pink. Um, I really like this one because it matches the logo that's at the beginning and the end of, um, my video and I got this color too because the writing in my logo it, it really matches it too so I made a whole bunch of stitch markers which I'm pretty excited about because I was running low and we still got some time in the mystery crochet along um, so we're gonna go right into that information if you've been following me for quite some time now, you are aware of the Progressive Mr. Crochet Along. We just released week four last week. This week is week five. And um, we did a surprise drawing on Thanksgiving Day, um, a mini drawing. For the people that are posting the pictures on the original post um, on the Facebook groups, those will both be linked down below. This is a nine week crochet along um, where we release clues every week. And so for the mini, the first mini giveaway, um, we actually, both Christy and I both uh, gave away the same yarn, two skeins of Barcelona in the color Hazel. I'm not sure if this is still a colorway you could purchase or not. And then I forgot to mention in my little video on Facebook that there is a stitch marker as well. One of the ones I've made. Um, Frida won that and she has already claimed it. So I got to get that off to the mail for her. 
And this week I'm adding to the crochet along a skein of Barcelona in the colorway Mulberry. So pretty. And the stitch marker is one of the new ones I just made. This is a bulky five with 300, no, I'm sorry, 410 yards. Huh. I think that's more, yes, Barcelona big. I didn't even notice that. This is bigger than the regular skeins of Barcelona. I don't have the ball band for the, the one I'm making, but this one has more yardage. I'm pretty sure there's 328 yards on the other. So there's almost 100 extra yards in here. What? I didn't even know that till just now. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is going into week five of the giveaway. One lucky person from my group and one lucky person from Christy's group is going to win the grand prize um, of the um, crochet along. What am I trying to say? One lucky person is going to win the grand prize. One from my group, one from Christy's group is going to win the grand prize. And it's everything that we are showing every week. But we are also going to have many drawings. We already did the first one. So that's going into week five. Clue number five this week has been released. Um, so you probably will figure it out already what it is. And it is a pocket shawl. This week you'll be adding the pockets. You'll be adding the two pieces that you um, just made last week. And you're going to leave one opening up here and you're going to sew along the single crochet um, edging that you put on. So that kind of leaves this reverse single crochet um, like raised a bit. So very cool. Very excited. I brought my friend Karen out to to uh, model it so I brought my friend Karen out to model my hopefully you could see her So I brought my friend Karen out to model her, or I brought my friend Karen out to model the, the shawl. Tons of fun. This is part one of the crochet along. So you're probably wondering, well, if I have a finished item right now, this is week five. There's still four more weeks to go. We got till January 3rd. What is going to happen next? You'll have to wait and see because this is how Christy and I go. We got everybody on the edge of their seats and we'll just have to wait and see. And we can't wait to share that with you. So yes, that's all I have to share with you guys today. Um, hopefully more next week. Uh, yeah, that's it. Um, I want to thank you for joining me today. Um, I appreciate you guys following me, uh, subscribing to my channel. Um, I appreciate it more than you'll ever know. Um, I hope everybody enjoys their week. And keep that yarn running through that fingers. And I'll see you guys in a week. Bye.